Hello, Crazy George here. Inside my turtle room, I'd like to show you a few that I have in here. This aquarium is a 55 gallon tank. It may have too many in it right now, but I'll work on getting another aquarium in here shortly. But in here, it needs to be cleaned a little bit. I gotta clean it tomorrow. But anyways, right here, is a western painted turtle and a few little yellow belly sliders I have in here. There are a few readier sliders. Adults go up to the top. There's one of my readier sliders right there. There's one of my younger readier sliders. Up under the rocks they get a few yellow bellies in there. Go up under the rocks around here. And there's a Mississippi map turtle. There's my three striped mud turtle. And somewhere in there, there's a stink pot musk hiding somewhere in there. And I do not know where he is. But we'll go on to another one. In this enclosure is a 20 gallon tall. I got a, you know, those are, there's a hybrid yellow belly slider. He's part, got part radiator slider in him. Here's one of my young radiator sliders. Up on that rock. Let me see if I can do it there this way. You can see I got a steak pot musk. And another hybrid radiator slider up in the corner by that heater. And let me find him. I got this cool yellow belly. It's a very rare one to find breeding. And I think it may have some albino in it. I'm not sure. Oh, great. Get the heater up. Is this him here? Yes. This little guy here. Oh, he's kind of fast. Bring him out here in the light. Look at the coloring on his shell. He is a red ear yellow belly hybrid. You can see he's got the yellow belly there, and if you look behind there, his, his ear is almost red. Red ears and yellow bellies do crossbreed in the wild. I'll put him back. But okay, down this tank here is a little ten gallon. There's two turtles in here. I don't know if you can see him. This is a baby eastern painted turtle. Oh, there goes the African side. Or not African. This is a hatchling eastern painted turtle. He does very well. I purchased him when I was in Florida on vacation this year at Underground Reptiles at their pet store. And the other one I purchased from there is in here too. And I don't know where he went. Which is a pink bellied side neck turtle. We saw him swimming a little bit ago. I'm gonna look and I think he went there here. Yeah, here he is. This is a pink belly side neck turtle. I don't know what's going on with his shell. If anybody that knows anything about him can let me know in the comments below. I'd like to find out what it is growing on his shell. I don't know if it's he's losing the coloring on it or what. But he eats pretty well and he does pretty well. Put him back in the water and start swimming. And that's it for my pond turtles. This enclosure here. About a week and a half ago, I was out in my box turtle cage feeding them and didn't realize it. And where did he go? He was just right here. This is the 
enclosure set up. Did he go back in the cave? Yes, he did. Well, anyways, when I was in there feeding my box turtles, I'll put that back in here. I found this good little guy. It's a hatchling little baby box turtle. And I set this cage up with a lot of plants, and it's full of all types of insects that I can find outside plus there's some pin crickets in here somewhere hiding around here and it's full of earthworms and grubs anything that a box turtle will eat in the wild I like to keep their ha habitats like they're in the wild you can see he's going into his little cave all right well goodbye little guy and then and this cage here actually is an extra terra I have two cages set up like this, and I'm fixing to show you the last one of my extra terrors. This one here is a Sulcata tortoise, which is another one I brought back from Florida. I actually got him from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And I bought him from when I went and visit him. And... I keep this area here dry, except for the planted area. I'll take a spray mister and I'll spray mist all the plants down. And I got lettuce in there. I just put some lettuce in here. And he does eat pretty well. But um, I'm looking forward to him growing. It's the third largest tortoise in the world. Also called a spur back and then these guys I got in here which I might transfer them outside to my shed because it, they want to see how it's going to do first but these are all my prized box turtles I got I have 16 but I only brought four of them in here the other ones are outside in my shed this one here is one I brought back from Florida it's a Florida box turtle female and this is one I purchased and it's a um, female ornate box and then this is my old guy it's an eastern box turtle but I mean if you look closely at him I got some he's got some really orange colors in him I need his name is Igor I've had him for a long time and I brought him in because I don't know how he would do in the cold weather. If I put, him, I didn't want to take a chance of him getting sick in the, in the winter time because as old as he is. But I keep them all in this thing here. I will give you updates shortly up on my other tortoise, my turtles and stuff. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.